There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing its words. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. I'm singing, oh, how I love Jesus. Well, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me at last and did my Savior bleed and did my sovereign die. I would he devote that sacred head for a sinner such as I. I'm singing, oh. How I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. I'm singing, oh, how I love Jesus, well, oh, how I love Jesus, oh. How I love Jesus, because he first loved me. Yes, oh, how I love Jesus. And I love Jesus because he first loved me. We should never get it twisted, as, as folks say. Don't get it twisted. You hear that all the time. Uh, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. You don't love on your own. You didn't love because you're so good. We love because he first loved us. Amen. Praise the Lord. He first loved us. Oh, how I love Jesus. Amen. And if we love Jesus, we'll read his word. If we love him, we'll keep his commandments. The Bible tells us so. If we love him, keep my commandments. Amen. That way that he knows we, that, that, that he, he knows, amen, that we love him if we keep our his commandments. And uh, we were in the seventh chapter of Romans. Welcome. Seventh chapter of Romans we're in now. We're going to pick up. This is our third week of that. We'll finish it up. We're talking a few more things. We got to say a couple of more things. And that Romans, the seventh chapter. Uh, welcome you, welcome you, welcome you once again. Amen. Members and friends, associates uh, alike. Uh, of Cobb Bethel AME Church. Praise the Lord. 2090 County Line Road. Cobb Bethel AME Church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bible study. Uh, once again, once again. Um, and we're going to, to go over a few more of the verses uh, until the end of the chapter and apply it to today. What we ought to get out of what we believe Paul, the writer here, is saying to the Romans, amen, and to us. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. First of all, we need to pray because we always should pray before we read the Bible, uh, asking God all, at all times to make it plain to us, manifest himself to us, manifest himself to you as you read the Bible. Ask him to do so, amen, as you read his word. Lord, we come, Father in heaven, before your throne of grace, O oh, Heavenly Father, boldly, sincerely, honestly, O oh, Heavenly Father, thanking you for all of your blessings, thanking you for your grace, your mercy. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your faithfulness toward us. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for the greatest gift that we could have ever have received came from you, it is your darling Son, Jesus Christ. O oh, Heavenly Father, that has now offered us a right to the tree of life and made a way for salvation if we have faith and believe in him. Thank you so much for your word, oh, Heavenly Father. As we read your word, we pray, O oh God, that thou will manifest yourself continually in your word and your spirit to us. Oh, Heavenly Father, we'll be better equipped to understand and go out into the hedges, the highways, the byways, everywhere and unto anyone that we come in contact with and be able to spread the good news of the liberating gospel of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name we pray, 
Amen. Amen. Romans, the seventh chapter. And what a profound word it is. Many folk, oh my goodness, they can't identify with this word. It's too much for them. And I often say, do you want to be a Christian or not? Are you a Christian or not? If you are, praise the Lord, Romans 7 resonates with you. If you are a disciple of Christ. Hard, but it's fair if you want to say that, you can. But it don't matter. It's the, the unadulterated, pure word of God. Romans 7 chapter, we believe Paul uh, uh, is the writer here. And... Uh, he talks about being free from the law. Yes, being free from law. And then the war that will go on inside of him. That that went on inside of, of, uh, of uh, any of us. A, a war between the spirit and the natural. Hmm, my goodness. And we have already read and know, as Paul said, that the law is spiritual. The law is spiritual. That's the reason why we couldn't follow it, because we're carnal. We were carnal in the beginning. They were carnal in the Old Testament. We were carnal in the beginning when we were born. Born uh, in sin, shaped in iniquity, we are carnal. Therefore, we cannot follow. Mm. God shows us that we can't follow without him. We cannot follow on our own. And we're the ones that are going to be breakers of the first covenant, mm, which contained the law. Therefore, God has to give us something else, which is himself. And he gives us himself by a, 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 a way of the example by his son and then the gift of the Holy Spirit. Those are the way that that's how he gives us himself. That's how he imparts himself into us. That then we have the power because Christ has the power, all power, and then he lives in us. That spirit lives in us. And therefore, the power of God living in us will enable us, amen, to live righteous lives, true to God. Mm, my goodness, my goodness. So we stopped off um, uh, getting where Paul explains, um, if, as, as you know, he said in the 11th verse, for sin taking occasion by the commandment deceived me uh, and by it slew me. In other words, uh, uh, slew with me, killed and separated. Uh, that, 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 that kill and death in this case means separation from God. It slew me. It kept me from God. Uh, it deceived me. I got the knowledge of the law, which the law was intended to draw me to God, but it wound up being the death separation from God. Mm. So he says that, 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 that the, uh, that sin deceived him. He has him doing the wrong thing. Wherefore, the law is holy and the commandment holy, just and good. So he says, well, is anything good make me sin? Anything good causes bad and evil come from God? No. And that 12th verse, 13th verse, he lets you know. No. Was then that which is good made death unto me? Is that what God? No. No, the knowledge that it gave you and the inability to 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 follow it is what brought the death. Mm, yes, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Seventh chapter of Romans we are. All right, seventh chapter of Romans, and we read uh, the fourteenth verse. For we know that the law is spiritual. He says, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do. Listen now, which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that I do. So, since I'm sold under sin, and I mean now I'm committed to sin. I done, I done sold out. I done, I done, I, 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 I'm doing wrong. I'm carnal, fleshly. And that's what we were. And the same as Paul. That, that's, what, that's the kind of person. He's painting the picture here of the status that we have. And by the end of this chapter, he's going to tell us how we get out of it. Hmm. Lord, help us, help us, help us, help us. For we know that the law is spiritual, 14th verse, 7th chapter, Romans 7th chapter, 14th verse, for we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm that, 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 that's what I'm operating under. 
I'm sold to it. I, I believe this, this is what I'm doing. For we know that the Lord is spirit. Now, in the 15th verse, for that which I do, and, and, and uh, uh, I allow not, for that which I would, that do I not. So in other words, I know the law. I know what's right. That, and I would, but I don't. <laughs> I would, but I don't. Mm -hmm. Because I'm in the flesh, and I'm carnal, and that's a spiritual thing. God has put on, and we can't handle it. Old Testament couldn't handle a spiritual thing. Can't handle it now if you're not a child of God. Then it says in the 16th verse, if then I do that which I would not, I know by the law, I wouldn't do. I, that's what's right. I would not, but I do. I consent unto the law that it is good. See? In other words, I consent unto the law that's good. I'm doing bad, but I consent because I wouldn't do it. <laughs> it's not that, 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 that I'm even saying that it's right. Because I now have the knowledge that it's wrong. The law is good. And what I'm doing is bad. It's wrong. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now then, 17th verse, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. You see, before, when I was doing it, there was no law against it. Before the law of the Moses came along, there was no law. Well, if there's no law, you ain't sinning. It's not wrong. Oh, my goodness. It wouldn't be wrong if you didn't know. Hmm. Yeah. Because the law doesn't come out that jaywalking is wrong. If you jaywalk, then you're not wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Now then, it is no more I. That's what you were. It was I before the knowledge of the law. Now that it's the knowledge of the law, the sin in you is what's... <laughs> My goodness. Hmm. But sin that dwelleth in me. Because you have the knowledge of the law. Therefore, sin has taken occasion, has taken the opportunity uh -huh, to rear its ugly head. Because you know by the knowledge of the law, but yet are carnal and fleshly and cannot keep it. So the lure and the, the, the glamour of doing what is opposite the law tells you is enticing. That's what we do. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, Paul, is, this is so profound, so profound, so profound, so profound. For I know that in me, well, first of all, before we say that 18th verse, now then it is no more I that do it, but sin uh, uh, that dwelleth in me. Sin was not the dweller in you before the knowledge of the law, and you know, I want to make that clear. It wasn't, but uh, now that you know, and so you hear that statement, uh, oftentimes you know better, you do better. Yeah, yeah, you know better, you do better. If I go somewhere and I don't know that it's wrong, I'm doing something that I don't know is wrong. I, I don't think nothing's wrong. I mean, I'm just doing, I don't think something is wrong. Then they tell me, and I find out that it's wrong. Well, now you was right, you know better. At one time, I didn't know that that uh, I was growing up. Nobody just specifically told me. It didn't come and specifically tell me that uh, people who weren't married and uh, uh, having a children, uh, having uh, sexual activity among each other. Uh, I just thought it was because you're young and, and parents are saying to you, you don't do it. They did tell us that, right? You know, and you knew you weren't supposed to. But you didn't think it was law against God, a sinful thing. So I found out what fornication was and adultery and all of that. Now I know that it's a law uh, uh, breaker against God's law and it's sinful. So if I did it prior to that, I thought that it was all right. Hmm. But then I found out that it ain't. If you know, then you ought to do. So if you know better, do better. That is a true statement. If you know better, then you do better. So we don't do what we know is wrong. It's a spiritual thing. We have to be spiritual because the law is spiritual. As Paul said, we have to be converted into the spiritual, become a spiritual being, have the spirit living inside us 
in order for us to do right, to do good. It says in the 18th verse, for I know that in me, that is in my flesh, he says, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. Oh, my goodness. What do we, what do, oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Paul, that is so profound. You got to read it slow. Pay attention. I, I, I find other passages that's along with it that would help you understand. Hmm. Remember back in Genesis, the, the uh, sixth chapter and the fifth verse. In Genesis, the sixth chapter. Let me make sure here that I'm going where I want to go. In Genesis, the sixth chapter and the fifth verse. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. You don't know it. The law hasn't been given yet. But to God, you're really doing the wrong thing. And your thoughts are wrong and sinful and wicked. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. And at that time, they just live by normal morality. What? What, what 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 seems right and wrong to man. Law wasn't given yet. And there were people who even were doing what was seemingly wrong, what you what you just knew as just uh, 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 the natural order that you ought not do it. But there was no law. There was no law. But in us, as we're born in sin, shaped in the, in us, there is no good thing. And just us, and just us in our flesh, there's no good thing. You have to have spirit in order for it to be a good thing. And the spirit of God, that is. Now, it's not, I'm not talking about the spirit of the devil. You got the spirit of the devil, too. That's what's already there. In the flesh, you can have the spirit of the devil. You ain't got to work for it. It's already there. You don't have to work for it. You ain't got to look for it. You ain't got to earn it. It's there. So, therefore, he says in the 18th verse, I know that in me, that is in... <coughs> In my flesh dwelleth no good thing, for to will is present with me. You see, I would do right. I will do it. The will is that I, 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 I know what's wrong. I know what's right. For to will, <laughs> my goodness, oh my goodness. For to will, uh, in that 18th verse, let's be clear. Uh, let's be clear. And that in the for, for to will is present. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. Another writer, another way of saying it, for I know that nothing good lives in me, that is in my flesh, in my human nature and, and, and sinful capacity, for the willingness is present, right? For the will, that's what it says, is present in me. But, but the doing of good is not. Hmm. Mm. My goodness, my goodness. The 19th verse, for the good that I would do, that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. So, 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 uh, 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 for the good that I want to do, I do not, but practice that very evil that I don't want to do. Uh, 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 so, because of the fact that we're not spiritual at the time, Paul is saying, I can't really do that that I would, even though I would like to. The law has told me, I would like to do, you know what I mean? And, we, and that's how, if you think about it, that's how you work. You, you know, I'd like, you know, yeah, I want to do good. Nobody says, no, we don't like good, don't want to do good. You know, there's some pretty evil folk in the world, though, that you might think that of. But that's not the way generally it is. That uh, uh, what's good? We just don't want to do it. We like to do the good. Yes, we like to. Uh, uh, oh, but we have a hard time finding a way to do it. Mm, and that eighteenth verse, nineteenth verse, and that nineteenth verse, and then the twentieth verse. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more that I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me, as we said, sin that dwelleth in me, because of the fact. That I would do good. I would do the right thing. 
And we do the right thing. And I even have, even the will is in me to do it. Hmm. Evil. Sin is ever present. <laughs> ah, goodness. I find myself doing that over and against what I would do. Hmm. I show up. I would do this. I would do that. That's right. Oh, but the temptation is that I just, and I go off and do the, I do the opposite. I don't do that. In the 20th verse, now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, the same as the uh, 17th verse says, but sin that believe it, that dwelleth in me. 17th verse, now, then it is no more I that do it, same as the 20th. Uh, 20th verse. Now, if I do that, I would not. So that that I really don't want to do, really, I do have a really, I really don't want to, but I find myself doing it. That's only because I am in the flesh. There are some things sometimes we have done something. I ain't going to do that no more. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. A person messing around, uh, more than one woman says he ain't going to do it. Not going to do that to his wife. Not going to do that to his girlfriend. If he's only got a girl, I'm not going to do it. Find himself doing it. Then he feels bad about it. That's wrong. I have the will. I ain't going to do it no more. The will is in me. Not going to do it. There's a, where there's, where there's a will, there's a way. It's true. But you have to be spiritual. Where there's a will, there's a way. So you can say, well, Paul, the will is in you. Why can't you do it? Because you ain't got the spirit yet. Can't do it. Hear me. Listen to me. Hear me now, my friends. Oh, my goodness. Anybody. Uh, think about it. Think about it. When you were doing it. Yes, you weren't always satisfied with that that you did. Huh? Like I said, some evil folks that you, you, you might not want to say it about you. But, 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 but <laughs> if, you're, if you, you weren't satisfied, felt good, you've done something. Then it, it weighed on you. I'm not going to. The right thing is this, and I have the will to do that. I'm going to do that. You find yourself not doing it. Hmm. My goodness. Hmm. Find yourself not doing it. Because sin does dwell. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Does dwell in a fleshly individual, a carnal individual, a non-God, Holy Spirit-filled individual. Hmm, hmm, hmm. To do good is present, but doing good, I can't seem to, I can't seem to, to do it. Willingness to do good, yeah, but doing it, nope. For good that I want to do, I do not do, but I practice the very evil that I do not want. Mm -hmm. But if I am doing the very thing that I do not want to do, I am no longer the one doing it. That is, it is not me that acts, but the sin, the nature of sin, which lives in me. And it causes you. But before... You didn't have no knowledge of it. But now sin is dwelling in you. So the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that whatever it is you're doing, knowledge of it is, 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 is knowledge of the law makes it a sin. Sin dwells in, is dwelling in you and it's causing you because you have the knowledge. Oh, my goodness. The end of this chapter, I find then in verse number 21, a law. He says, I find then. See, when you read the Bible, now you, you got to pay attention to the to what the I find then a law. Therefore, he said, as a result of, I find a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. That's what he's he's he explained all that. He, 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 the, the, the fact that he that he find then a law that law is that I would do good evil is present with me and that's the reason what he was explaining that that's what he was doing he was describing what he was doing now he's explaining what it is he finds mm -hmm. 
yeah, yeah. He's 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 explaining what it is he's finding. He broke it down when he said that he's carnal, he's natural, and and, and the law is spiritual. He broke down why, mm -hmm, why he does what he does. Hmm. Hmm. How he does what he does, what causes him to do what he does, because it's spiritual, I'm natural. And then he further says here, well, I find in me a law. What that law I find in me is that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Hmm. So I find it to be the law, my inner self. The evil is present in me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's present in me. The evil is present in me. The one who wants to do good. So you can have a desire. And we do. We have, we did have desire even when we were living in sin before Christ came. We had it before we got born again. You did. You wanted to do good. Think about it. You wanted to. Oh, oh, but it was hard to find out how. Oh, yes. <laughs> that evil was still present. Hallelujah. Hmm. It was still around. Enticing. Oh, devil was on his job. 22nd verse. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. Hmm. Delight in the law of God, the inward man. Hmm. Delight in the law of God in my inner, in the inner man, in my inner self. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In my inner self. But I see another law. He already said, in my members, warring against the law in my mind, bringing me into captivity of the law of sin, which is in my members. Hmm. Remember, remember in the chapter prior to this, in the 16th uh, verse of chapter 6, he says, Neither yield ye your members as an instrument of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. In other words, it's a spiritual thing. And you have to be in the spirit in order to control your members. Hands, eyes, legs, feet, all of that. In order to control the body. My, my, my. You have to be in the spirit. He sees uh -huh, in his inward, uh -huh, his new nature, his nature, he sees in his he sees the good, the law of God. But there's another one, uh -huh, another one. Remember where he says he sees the law, that if he would do good, uh, 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 evil is ever present. So you got that law. You got that, you got that, you got that uh, 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 law uh -huh, in your members. Not in the inward man, but in your members. Uh-huh. Bringing you into captivity under the law of sin, which is in my members. Therefore, since you cannot, uh, 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 you are not in the spirit, spiritually, you cannot control the members. <laughs> my, my, my. You have to control the members, the eyes and those and what they see. You got to control what they see. You got to be able to control. They see a woman 34, 26, 36, 24, 30, however it goes, smiling good, smelling good, and all that. And, and, and women, you see the tall, handsome dog. Uh, 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 and boy, he's just got it going on. Mm, got to be able to control it. Temptation to do anything, to steal, to lie, to cheat, anything. Warring in your members. Oh, my goodness. Warring in your members. 
Hmm. War is going on because they cannot simultaneously exist. They war the inner man and the members, the two laws of two spirits, war against one another. Inwardly, inwardly, man, the nature you have no God's law. It wars with the members who control the wisdom, controlled by the law of sin. Ever I, when I see it, when I touch it, when I walk into it, the law of sin causes me. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. But there's an answer to it. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Paul, don't leave us there. We're not left in the New Testament. We're never left with the solu without the solution. Never left without a way of escape. Never left. Hallelujah. Mm. Never left. Out on the island. Anyway, no way to go. Never left. In limbo, never left. 24th and 5th verse. Oh, wretched man that I am, because of this condition, hallelujah, I find myself in, who shall deliver me from this body of death? The law of sin with me, body of death that I have, yes, my member, the flesh, my members, hallelujah, uh, 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 what can help me? How can I be delivered? Uh, it's a spiritual law, and I can't quite get it. I want to do what I don't do. I thank God through Jesus Christ, the last verse, our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Hmm. Hmm. Wretched and miserable man. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. Who's going to rescue me? Set me free from this corruptible mortal existence that I have in this body. Another writer puts it. Uh -huh. Thanks be to God uh -huh. for my deliverance. See what he's saying? Thanks be to God. Through Christ. Because we are now delivered. That's why he says through Christ. Our Lord. Thanks be to God through Christ. You cannot make it unless it's through Christ. You have to accept Christ in order to enter the spiritual. Therefore, you can thank God through Christ. Deliverance is yours. Hmm. Mm. On one hand, the writer says, I myself and my mind serve the law of God. On the other, with my flesh, my human nature, my worldly, and my sinful capacity, I will serve the law of sin. If I'm delivered, hallelujah, my mind directs me to the law of God. But if I'm not, then I surrender to the law of sin. My human nature, not my new mind that Christ, that through Christ I have now gained. Oh no, 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 no. I, I, I serve sin. I serve sin. I serve sin. Oh, I know I went my time. I know I went my time now. I know I went my time now. But think about this thing in the seventh chapter. Read it. And I mean, you've got to read it slowly and understand my, 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 what Paul, we believe, is the writer, is telling us. My, my, my. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, with mine, therefore, you're thanking him because through Jesus Christ you have deliverance. Now that the Holy Spirit is in control of your mind, you serve God. If you're in that spiritual mind, the mind of Christ, if you have that spiritual mind, that dwelling, the mind of Christ, as the Bible says, we have the mind of Christ, then 
you serve God? What if you are of human nature? That I'm going to serve all sin. Mm, that's what I'm going to serve. That's what I'm going to serve. That's what you're going to serve. Hmm. <laughs> My, my, my. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Father in heaven, we ask, O Heavenly Father, that I will continue to send thy Holy Spirit upon us to teach us, O Heavenly Father, spiritually, to keep us in the spirit, our spiritual dwelling as disciples of your Son, Jesus Christ, because we will do good. Hallelujah. Our mind is made up and fixed on you. We will do good yielding our members to righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, until next time, praise the Lord. Yield your members to righteousness. Stay in the spirit of God. Let the mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus.